Guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. So, I should have did a video on this when I first started, but I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. So, these are aftermarket lights. And these have been in for quite some time. But, you watch back to my videos, I show how instead of dropping the whole light to change the bulbs, you drill to the back. So, what I did was I drilled a couple little holes. Really, really, I'll show you the drill bit. Instead of replacing these lights, because initially I was going to um, use that defogger, that cleaner stuff, because my lights were getting pretty foggy. So I just used a small drill bit like this. Let's see. I had to clean my lens. Um, and then what I did was I drilled in both sides. I drilled a little hole here, very small, and then a little hole here, very small, so the water could drain out. And then I did the same thing on this one. So, what I did first, let me put this back. What I did first was, I, um, I, uh, pop, let me put you on pause, I'll show you. All right, you can see the water coming out of that one and coming out of that one. So what I did was I took a pump sprayer. If you don't know what a pump sprayer is, you can look it up. Um, and what I did was I took the lights out on the back because on this truck For these aftermarkets you had to drop the whole entire light to change the bulb So I said fuck it I put a four inch hole saw on both sides and drilled out so then I just Silicone the lights in place because they were getting pretty beat up and wanting to come out of the uh, the securement sides so anyways I took dawn liquid soap and about a gallon of uh, and a pump sprayer, and I sprayed both of these holes, all four holes on both lights, and I filled it up, and then I started, I took a, an air tool, and I put it inside, like so, and it kind of uh, created like a little whirlpool in there to kind of scrub everything, but then that was a couple days ago, and then the water, I just drilled this hole today and that hole today because there was still standing water in there like now and there was a bunch of dirt sitting here uh, on the daytime uh, thing or whatever you want to call it, sensor. So anyways, so I, I didn't like that so what I did was I grabbed some clean water and filled up both sides because both sides had the settling because when you close the hood, the water kind of goes to that side naturally so I did this video or I did this side here and I am going to use the uh, that defogger stuff but I don't have to get crazy on it because the the mess the, the dirt was actually on the inside getting in from the little pores of the lights these lights weren't cheap but instead of paying another six hundred dollars for two lights aftermarket i figure i just clean these ones up and if you're having the same problem i'll show you how i did it so like i said you got to drill two small holes in each light make sure you don't hit the sensor or anything or you get into the light there um and uh just use the dawn liquid soap and then um you're gonna have to rinse it out so i i probably did a gallon of water with the dawn dish soap in each light and then once it drained out, then um, I went ahead and just kept adding clean water to it to flush it out. And then when I came this morning, all, like I said, all the dirt accumulated right by those sensors. So what I'm gonna do is I got a clean, clean bucket of water, because now I'm gonna do this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop a full gallon of water down these holes to get inside the light itself. And then I'll show you what I do with my air tool to agitate the water or whirlpool of the water. Um, and then I'll do another video tomorrow once the lenses dry up and I blow them out. We'll see how clean they got. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to dump the water down there. Alright, as you can see the standing water in there is coming out of both holes. Now I'm going to stick this long nose air tool inside. Doesn't matter really what hole. Ah.
then we're just going to drop it. <clears throat> And now all this moisture is on the inside. So I don't know what's up with these streaks, but it doesn't seem like they're on the outside. So I was really hoping that by sticking that, that air nozzle in there that I would blow those streaks out. But I don't know if that's why I might go ahead and use the, um, well, not if, I am going to use a defogger, but you can see where there's moisture in there. So now after it uh, drains, then I will uh, flip the hood up, let it dry out for a few days. I'll stick a fan in each one of these holes to help dry it out. And uh, we'll see how we fare after that. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the outside with the, um, with the defogger kit or whatever. Um, that's the only, like I said, I should have did, these things already look a hundred times better than they were. They were, almost look kind of like that, except even worse. I mean, I was getting headlights. I was still seeing well, but I just didn't like it. Um, so, like I said, I'll wait a few days, I'll, I'll let it dry out a few days. And after it's all drained out, and it's 100% dry inside the lens, then I'll take that same air tool... I'll stick it into the opening and I'll blow out the dust and uh, see if that works. And then, like I said, we'll do the outside. But this is going to be part one of two videos. And um, that's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.